coming to you from Hair Bear Capsule Hotel. Now, what is a capsule hotel? A capsule hotel is actually something really popular in Japan, but the thing is, it's usually male only. Here in Taiwan, this new capsule hotel has just opened and it's co ed. What are capsule hotels? They're basically air conditioned pod style rooms. I actually stayed here twice, so my second time I was like, yo, I gotta film a tour for you guys. So bear with me as we go on this tour. It's pretty awesome. Let's go! Alright, here we are at our door. I'm gonna try to be quiet though, because even though it's almost 11 a.m., I think there's still some people sleeping in there. Everybody take a second and check out how dark it is. Oh my goodness. But there's a TV. You can sleep in peace during the day, at night, whatever. There's a couple of light sources, so check it out. Reading light. Over there. We have a backlight. Whoa. Oh my god, it's like outer space. Mirror light. Just right here. Hello has this little basket. Um, here we have headphones. Nice, ooh, these are nice. And also the remote control for the TV. Now, I think, or I've been using this as like a shower kind of basket to put all your shower stuff, but I'm not sure if that's what you do. I'm a relatively tiny person, so this seems very spacious to me. I'm gonna lie down and show you how much space there is between my head and feet. I'm about five feet and an inch. I'm about five feet, okay. Laying down here, if I'm laying down here, there's about as much space and my feet is right here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's pretty spacious. You can just roll around in here. Do some push-ups. One. Okay, that's all I can do. for the headphones. We have a USB charger. You can unlock the door here. You hear that? Here's a little plug. Oh, over here is the thing. And check this out. If you want to go to sleep, just press this button. Are you guys ready? Press this button and everything turns off. Whoa. This here is a little safe so you can also put your stuff in here. Honestly, I think just this pod in itself is already very secure because right when you walk out and you close the door, it automatically locks. Also, this right here, air conditioning, and this with a little vent. So even if you fart in here, it's gonna be okay. The one thing that really impressed me is how soft the pillow and the blankets are. Check this out. In a lot of the Asia hostels, all you get is a sheet. But here, it's like a whole comforter. Look at this. This is so thick. You can just hear it. <sighs> Check out this very futuristic capsule-like ceiling. You can even do your own makeup and everything here. It's all good. You don't even need to go outside. <laughs> There's also hooks on both sides. All right, and that was a tour of my capsule. Walking down the hall, if you turn to the right, you can actually get your own little locker. So every room comes with your own locker that you can access with the same key card you use to access your capsule. So right here. Pretty nice, right? You can put your bags, valuables. Now we're gonna take a tour of the bathroom. Uh, but I gotta make sure no one's in there, because then that'd be weird. 
Nuts on creep. Nuts on creep. This is the bathroom. As you can tell, very, very, very clean. Very clean. It has all the amenities that you need. Take us to the shower room because it was very impressive. Check it out. Oh, here's the shower room. Is that this is a shower, there's shampoo and shower gel, and then you get a little spa right here as the changing room where you can put your clothes, put whatever necessities right here. It's always nice when a hostel like uh, accommodation have this type of shower so you're not in the shower all wet trying to put on your dry clothes. Having two separate compartments is a plus. So there are hair dryers, two actually, um, area for you to get ready. It's pretty good. I think the charming part of this entire hotel is this was only $14, $15 a night. I did get apparently a super hot deal according to Agoda, uh, but last time I paid about $15 a night as well. Be careful about booking this on sites like booking.com or Airbnb because the price might be way, way higher. Definitely try to call in and reserve via phone. I love the fact that everything here is bear themed. So there's little stickers with bears on there. The elevator has bears on it. There's bear designs everywhere. There are street signs. So every lane is a street. And there are little signs. Too cute. Such an enjoyable stay. Seriously, because this is my second time here. I'm gonna check out now. You gotta go. Yes, and I'll see you guys next time.